Hi, welcome back to Sherry DIY. Today we're going to make two elegant sconces. You're going to need two of the Dollar Tree 35 picture frame and you're going to disassemble it. Take the glass, you're going to take everything out. You're going to take the little prongs out of the back because we don't need those. And the only thing you're going to need is to the glass and the base of the frame. So now you're going to use some quick grip RE6000 and glue your glass back down into the frame. And now, after that, you're going to add some bling wrap around on the inside with the quick grip of E6000 all around on the inside of the frame. And it's only two rows of the bling wrap that you will need to go around to line the frame all the way around. Okay, and that's how what you'll have. And now you, I have the phone sheet, glitter phone sheet I got from Walmart, and it was like two being there for like ninety-seven cents a dollar something. You're gonna cut out two of them to fit the back of the frame and you're going to need a cardboard or a poster board thick heavy foam poster board I got from Dollar Tree you're going to need to cut out two of those they're going to need to be exactly the size of the frame and here you see this is my glitter foam now I'm gluing it to the back end of the foam board that I got from Dollar Tree. So you're going to do this to both of your cut out of you need two of everything because you're making two sconces. Wild sconces. So now I'm gluing down the second glitter foam to my foam cardboard. And this is going to be your back. So I'm showing you how it fits and how it should fit and how it looks. Now I have gotten some of these little stick package of um, rhinestone like that has nothing on the back. They're really tiny. You, some of them come with a heat on the back. Some of them don't. I had both but I used the one without the uh, adhesive on the back because one is plastic and one is glass. This is glass. And here I'm showing you how I make my little design. You can make any design you like. I just did one line with two, a second line a little longer with three, and then the third line longer with four and then the last line long, a little longer than that one with five and now I'm taking some of the glitter foam and I'm uh, making like a um, a border around my frame that I'm backing my frame backing that I'm making to go on the back of the glass picture right here I'm showing you how it all set up And you're gonna glue that together. Use your quick grip or your E6000. I got quick grip because it dries a lot faster than E6000. I think in like 45 seconds, his seals. And I got that from um, Walmart. It was a dollar more than the E6000. So now I just have a plate I got from Dollar Tree. It's the see-through. I use them a lot making my chandeliers. So I got my solder iron. And I am going to need to use the glow to make a circle. Now I'm going to cut this circle out with my solder iron. And 
you know, so I just cut it out and I took a piece of cardboard and I made a circle, a smaller circle, the, and the size I wanted my sconces to be. And then I cut that circle in half and I measured across the circle of the plastic plate that I got from um, Dollar Tree and cut out two pieces for my two sconces. Here, I'm cutting them out with masala. And there's two halves. Now, this is just a piece of paper that I had. I need a light paper. So, and I just had that. I'm not using it for the design side. I need it for the white side because I'm gonna cut it in half, even side, the width that I want, which is about three inches, two inches, something like that. And I cut it in half, and I'm gonna roll them so they're more flexible, so I can make it curve. And then I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna add my decoupage to it. See how they are? We're rolling them, make them flexible. Now I'm using the decoupage. The decoupage, I'm gonna put that on both of them and I'm gonna add my cut glass and my fine silver glitter to make my borders to go around for my sconces. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's my um, holder for my phone for recording. It's attached to my table and it just makes a lot of noise. I didn't realize that it was that loud, so sorry about that. So now I'm taking the quick grip and I'm adding a layer across the top. This is the top of the arm frame and I'm taking the cut half circle plastic plate and gluing it to my for top of my frame and then I'm going behind it with the Gorilla hot glue so that can hold and seal quicker because it takes the quick grip about 45 seconds to dry and hold and once that dry and hold I'm gonna take my cut glass paper that I made and hot glue it around my half circle to make my sconces cover. I had to wait till the next day because I had to wait, let the decoupage and the cut glass and glitter dry. And when it dried, I went back over it with um, the decoupage so that it won't be dropping to seal it. And here I took a I took some cardboard. It was just thin cardboard with lines in it. And I took it outside and spray painted it. And then I came and let it dry. And then I came back in, which it dried really quick. I glued it, um, bling wraps to like three rows a bling wrap across the top and then I left a little section out so I can hot glue it to add it to my sconces ring so that give me a, make it a little bit more wider and then also I'm gonna hang my chandelier little um, plastic chandelier uh, to it so that I can add my teardrops on. And also I added bling wrap all the way around the sides. 
and I'm gonna add two layers of bling wrap to the top. And these are my little crystals. They plastic. I got them from Amazon that I always use on my chandelier, and I'm attaching them. And I'm attach seven. I attach seven, one in the middle, and then I counted over five spaces and attached another one. And it's end up being seven across. So here I ordered these slides from Amazon. I got two in a box with two remotes for $7.99. They fairy lights and they have a remote come remote come with two remotes came with them. And I wanted to use the big round one, but they was too big, so I had to order some fairy lights to put in it because I couldn't find any the little round like um to add to my sconces, so I had to use the fairy light. And I used this other gun to cut a hole open and just stuck them through. And this is the battery pack. I'm going to glue it on with the quick grip and with the Gorilla Glue, hot glue gun. Also, I had um, wrapped my lights once I got them through. I'm going to take the tape and wrap the lights with the tape and then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the tape and glue it up, the, it up to the top of my sconces so that it will hold my lights in. I didn't glue the lights, fairy lights, because they're really thin and hot glue I felt that it would melt them melt them so that's why I used the tape round so the hot glue would be mixed to the tape instead of the little thin fairy lights line and here I had a piece of block of wood my husband cut for me and I added my little biking for hanging pictures frames and there those on and then I add hot glue and the quick grip and put it to the back of my frame and this is my final look isn't they beautiful and elegant and sparkly I think they came out really beautiful I just came up with this little design and I think it came out really beautiful. I really like it. And this is how I look with the lights on. And I put them up in my study room. In my office little room, work room. And that's how they look with it off. And that's how they look close up to, very close up with minimal light. And this is, they behind my, my chair in my this is my little work study room I made for studying and making my art projects. And here's my book. Please remember to go to Amazon.com and get a copy for a child for Christmas gift. I really would appreciate it. I need your support on um, getting my book out so that I can go ahead and get my other book published and put out. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Goodbye.